Okay, so I'm Rory Sullivan, this is Sam May. We're here to talk about Odd Blood. Uh, let's just go to the first track, uh, The Children. What did you think about The Children? Uh, pretty good. Kind of a slow opener. I mean, it kind of drones on a little bit. Yeah, I actually, I really liked this song, but you, I remember you said something to me the first time you heard it. You thought you had the wrong album or something. Yeah, first impression listening to this album, I put it on and knowing the Sayer stuff, Clicking the children, I was like, what? Did I download the wrong album? Because it's yeah. just such a dramatic <laughs> shift. Yeah, so pretty much immediately you know this is a different yay sayer. It's a totally different sound. It's way more electronic than all our symbols. Alright, the next song is the biggest song off the album. The single. single. The problem, I, Out. I don't know, what do you think of this song? I really like Ambling Out. I know you have an issue with it, so yeah. I disagree, but go into it. Well, I really like Ambling Out, too, and let me tell you, the music video is yeah, probably... the music the, video, I'll leave the link on the side. Yeah, the music video is really cool. Probably one of the coolest music videos I've ever seen. Yeah, no, Ambling Out, the only problem I have with it is that, you know, it sounds way too much like this is the single. Like, it's a good song, and, like, the ideas tie in with the yeah. rest of the album, but still, it's like, you listen to it, and it's it's sort of like, I don't know, for example, like, with an album like Mary Miller post by M Collective, I feel like the singles on that album, like, you can sort of tell, like, good single tracks, if they fit a lot better with yeah. the album. But, like, I feel like with Emily Alp, it's, like, a big offender of, like, a pop sort of radio yeah. friendly song. I, I agree to an extent, but I still think this could be at the end of the year one of my favorite songs yeah oh yeah definitely it's definitely it's good. a great song the next track which is actually my favorite on the album matter red yeah just a great hook the progression is awesome and there's actually like a shredding guitar that comes in yeah actually somehow fits really well sounds really 80s yeah and the drums does, but too I like, are yeah, like, really drums. like the drums are all 80s. over the place yeah like, somehow it sounds like it could have it could be like a cheesy like straight out of the 80s song yeah but like the vocal harmonies which kind of like remind both of us i think of reverend green oh uh, yeah not the, sorry to mention Am Collective again. <laughs> review. Really good song, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We were, we were just talking about this track. I remember uh, this is like really calm, really pretty. Um, the, it's, it makes me feel like I'm in a dream. Like the lyrics. Yeah. I remember making love on a Sunday. Yeah. It's really it's really intense. Like it's it's really dreamy and like really kind of chill out, but yet like really full and yeah. like kind of in your face at the same time. Like. Probably one of my favorite tracks on the album. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, he says uh, one's not enough. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and the music video just came out pretty recently. Really good. Yeah, I saw it. One of the craziest weird, videos I've ever seen. Yeah, and it's by the same director who did the Emily Out video too. Put a link to that. Uh, well, yeah, I'll put a link to both music videos <laughs> yeah. on the side. But yeah, apart from like the video, the song, this is probably one of my favorite yeah. songs on the album too. It's, it's, it's really strange too. It kind of also has that 80s vibe going yeah, on. Yeah, it does. Like this whole album kind of has this like sort of weird 80s vibe, and I've usually yeah. kind of been like, most of the time I'm like a yeah, big I agree. I don't, of the I don't 80s like sound. that, but it works yeah. better. But somehow Yaser makes it work by putting like a contemporary mm -hmm. spin on it with like a lot yeah. more like vocal harmonies and like electronics and yeah. different variations of like the sound they had on their first album. And like another part of this album that I really like that was more so in all our symbols than this album is the bass playing. It's the like bass, really, yeah. really good. Well, yeah, the bass just is amazing. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like some of the bass lines on all our symbols are a little bit easier to hear. Yeah, because it's yeah. like a more of a stripped down album, mm -hmm. sort of like a less experimentation of like lush. Yeah. Electronics. Yeah, I mean, he's more subtle here, yeah. but his bass parts can still be like a huge part of the song. Definitely. All right. Well, like halfway through the album, this is pretty much where it takes a huge turning point for pretty me. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I kind of know what you love mean. Love me, girl. Yeah. Um, love me, girl is probably one of the weaker tracks. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this song. Really, it's 
So it had a really good intro. The whole build up right before he starts singing is I think yeah. really good. Like you're getting really just singing though. And then it's, then it like comes the in singing. and it's like but again, though, I, it is a really good song, I think. Less so good than the other, but just because of the vocal harmonies. There's parts that I like, but yeah. I feel like it was a little too overdone for me. It was a little cheesy, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, definitely. I feel like one of the great things about Yeser, though, is their vocal harmonies. Like, yeah. and they work so well like with the experimentation, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? The next track, uh, Rome. Oh, my God. <laughs> This what a funny story. When I first heard this track, this was actually one of my favorite tracks off the album. Yeah, I don't know I what the hell I was that. thinking. <laughs> I, I don't know why I liked it so much the first time I heard it, but this is like, the more you listen to this song, the more you hate it. Rome is gonna be mine. It's just, just a, a matter, matter of, of. It's just, just a, a matter, matter of time. <laughs> over and over and over and over and over again. Love Me Girl annoys me, but it has its good moments. Yeah. For me, Rome just doesn't have anything yeah, that I can just, really say about it's just, it. It's just like gibberish yeah. and like one repeated lyric and like repeated musical ideas <laughs> that are not good at all over and over and over again. It's I don't know what they were thinking of that yeah, one. Let's move on from yeah. Rome. The next song, uh, Stranger Re- Reunions, uh, kind of along the lines of I Remember a little bit. Um, not as dreamy. It's not terribly exciting like the rest of the album is. It's kind of neutral for me. Yeah, you know I, what? Like, Stranger Unions is probably, like, the one song of the whole album, like, I, I never remember. Like, I can't... Yeah. Like, even right I, now, I, 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 do, I, I can't mean. picture how it sounds in my head. Yeah. So what you're saying about neutral is probably really true. Yeah. So it's, like, a kind of a forgettable track, but within the context of the album, it's, like, it's placed I, well. I remember liking it. Yeah, same here. <laughs> okay, now we move on to Mondegreen. This is another one. Oh, I forgot. I completely forgot about Mondegreen. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, everyone's talking about me and my baby. Yeah, that's it. That's it. it. That's it. I, think this is, I think this is my one of ones, too. Yeah, it's it it's, sort of harkens along to the same lines as yeah, Rome. Yeah, exactly. There's like the repeated it's lyric. The repeated chorus yeah. that is nothingness. Right. The beautiful singing is gone. It's just this quick fire. Yeah, there's delivery. no harmonies. There's no, there's nothing there. Yeah. Uh, it's better than Rome. <laughs> well, yeah. There's there's these corny horns. Yeah. That actually kind of make it better than. Like, like, yeah. yeah. I think there's something a little bit more going on in Moon to Green than there is Rome. Okay. Because Zelda is one of my favorite. Yeah. This tracks. is the last. Uh, track of the song Griselda. Uh, the it's a grower. Uh, the first time you hear it, you might not think much of it, but yeah, that's if, you, if you keep going back to this track, this is one that I like more every yeah. time I hear it. And Children's not a very good, like, in-your-face grabber. It's sort of like a, yeah. it's more of a subtle intro to the album, but Griselda is probably like one of the best closers I've heard in a yeah. while. Again, with the vocal harmonies, you know, it's just really, yeah. like... Really well written song. Is that much more I can say about it? All right. So I mean, that's all the tracks of the album. What are you gonna give this one? Well, on part first listen, I really didn't like it because it was such a dramatic shift from their mm-hmm. first one, and I rated it a six point five when I first heard yeah. it. But with repeated listens, and despite the fact that uh, Moon Green and Rome and Love Me Girl to extent are like three really bad tracks, most all all seven or the ten, the seven besides those three are pretty solid tracks. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to give this an eight. Um, yeah. I'm going to give it a 7. There's so many standout tracks. I mean, some of them stand out in a bad way, but the ones that stand out in a good way are really, really good. I, I can't say that I hate this album. I can't say that I really, really love it either. There's definitely some songs that I really, really like on this album a lot. Yeah, I think the reason I like it just so much is to give it one more than a 7 is because yeah. I feel like it's like a really daring move. I, exactly. All Our Symbols got such good... Reviews and yeah, feedback right. that you kind of just thought they yeah. they might be able to just coast on by making right. that kind of music. Yeah. And they took a definitely. totally different turn. Well, they did lose a drummer. If you listen to this album, there's, you're definitely gonna come away with some really good songs. You just don't expect all our symbols part two. Yeah, yeah. not at all, <laughs> not at all. Well, uh, yeah, I'm Rory Sullivan. This Sam. is uh, my friend and fellow music lover Sam May, who is filling in today, and this has been Track by Track Reviews. Mm-hmm.